Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Let's take a look at how to use recapture version 2 in Wizzy Web Builder to validate or prevent robots from filling our forms and submitting them. So to get started, we are going to build a simple form. So um, that is, I'll come to my toolbox. Let me just switch to my form section. I'm going to look for my form. I'm going to draw a form area here. I'm going to change the style that is the border of it to none. The width is going to be zero pixel and I'm going to come back to my two box. Now I'm going to look for the that is the edit box. I'm going to make this this is going to contain name. So let me make the placeholder name. Let me just indicate asterisk to make this that is um a required for I'm going to switch to my pattern. I'm going to make from the left that is 10 pixels from the left. Now let me come back to general. This is going to be test and I'm going to change the validate mode to HTML5 and the data type is going to be test. Data is going to be required in this particular section. I'll need letters, that is, um, I'll need white space and maybe some other special characters. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to make a copy of this edit box. I'm going to break it here and I'm going to change this to email. So let me just look for email. The validate is going to be email address. I'll go ahead and click on OK. That is also a required field. I'll come back to my toolbox and I'm going to look for test area this time around i'm going to let me just make sure i get the same width for it here i'll go ahead and um let me move this up a little bit and expand my form here i'll come back to my toolbox and i'm going to look for a button so this is going to be um let me just look for a submit button so i'll put my button over here now let me move this to this position and create equal spacing between my fields here so i'm come to um that is arrange and i'm going to um distribute them vertically now before using my button or placing my button here i'll come back to my toolbox and this time around i'm going to use for i'm going to look for the recapture version 2. so the recapture version 2 is an extension that you have to install if you don't have it installed in your um wizard web builder so i have mine installed i'm going to click on it and i'm going to draw over here so i'll Go ahead and expand my form a little bit and I'm going to move my that is um recapture version 2 into my form. It is supposed to be part of my form. So I'll go ahead and right click on an empty space in my page, go to page property and set the file extension of my page to PHP. I'm setting this to PHP because I'm using form um objects over here. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me set uh, let me arrange and have a distributed that is spacing between my form here so i'll go ahead and distribute equal spacing between them now to configure my form let me just double click on the form area and set an email address this form is going to be delivered or submitted to so this is going to be my email address i'm not going to change this i'll assume that this has been configured properly i'll go ahead and click on ok now i'll come to my um, name field and i'm going to set an access key of one i'm going to set a tab index key of one so the tab index key is when you want to use your tab key on your keyboard to control the form so i'll do this for this one so um that is this one that is the name field here i'll select two select two for this one and i'm going to select three for this one i'll go ahead and select three for this one and now my google recapture is also going to have four for the tab index I'll go ahead and configure my button to have five for the access key and five for the tab index. Now I'll come back to my form and this time around I'm going to double click on the recapture version two. So when you double click on it, it's going to ask you some um, that is for a site key and a secret key and you're supposed to specify an error page as well. So let's take a look at how to get the site key and a secret key. So to get your site key and secret key, I'll open my browser here. I'm going to look for recapture. So I have, um, let me just look for recapture. That is on Google. So I have recapture over here. I'm going to select the first option I have here. So I'll go ahead and select get recapture. And I'm supposed to configure my recapture. If you are not signed in into your Google account, you are supposed to be signed in before you can proceed from this stage. So I'll hit on get recapture and it is going to load this particular section for me. So I have already signed in. That is why I have this in here. So these are sites that I have configured with recapture. 
so to add a new site all i need to do is to add a label so i'm going to make this localhost and i'm going to specify that as recapture version 2 and the domain is also going to be localhost because i'm running this particular recapture on my that is on my local system i'll go ahead and hit on um, that is check this accept the recapture terms of service and i'm going to go ahead and register this so I'm done with the registering and all we need to do here is to copy our site key and our secret key. So this is the site key. You copy the site key. You come to your project. You paste your site key in here. Come back and copy mine at the secret key. So this is the secret key. I'll come back and I'll paste that in here. Now for the error page, all we need to do is to create a blank page. Let me just go ahead and click on my project. I'll create a blank page and I'm going to come back to my form and I'm going to set that page as my error page. So if there's a situation or there's a problem in um, this particular um, form that has got to do with the recapture, it is going to redirect us to the error page we have set over here and we are going to get some form of instruction or some form of information over there. Now let's go ahead and publish this particular project. Now let's go ahead and publish our form. I'll go ahead and hit on the publish button and I'm going to specify a part to publish my um, form to. So I have my form published over here because I'm having a localhost server. That is why I publish it to my localhost. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, let me just bring in my browser over here. So this is my browser. I'm going to specify the location of the file. So I'm going to type localhost and um, form. That is where I publish my form two so i'll go ahead and hit on enter and as you can see we have our form over here we have our that is our google uh, recapture version 2 configured properly and if i try submitting i'm going to get that is a um, prompt asking me to fill this field because i made i i made this field uh, a required field as well as this field so that is how to configure or add a uh, google recapture version 2 to your forms and with your web builder now, some errors you are, you are likely to run into has got to do with um, the recapture form over here. Now, let me hit on F5 and show you what it looks like. So, it says error site, that is error for site owner, invalid domain for site key. This reason is because um, we didn't specify this particular, um, let's say, file location or this particular name for our uh, recapture when we're configuring or registering it. That is why we are facing this. But if you go ahead and publish your page to the rightful location, that is you specified on Google Recapture, everything is going to be fine. So that is how to configure or work with Recapture version 2 in Wizard Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.